little bit of background to the design and inspiration uh, that went into it. And uh, this entrance, uh, particularly this gallery here, is very much set up to show how Santiago Calatrava works uh, as an architect, because I think, uh, as many of you will probably already know, he's not a conventional architect. He doesn't sit down in front of a drawing board and start uh, designing a building. It's a much more organic uh, process. And Santiago, would, would you mind just talking us through your, uh, how you went about designing the spire? Yeah. Um, first of all, you see, uh, I want to underline very much that myself, I am uh, not only an architect, but also an engineer. So uh, it, it, and it's interesting to, to confront both things because finally uh, you arrive to the conclusion that there is not a big difference between one discipline and the other. And second, that in the rigor of approaching such a, uh, a challenge of building the type of building you want to uh, build in the frames, uh, it has to be built. Uh, uh, there is also a lot of space uh, in the approach for um, freedom. Uh, uh, indeed, I uh, used to go uh, uh, to those projects by sketching. I'm sketching uh, a lot of uh, drawing, maybe, you know, 100 of them, 200, even if it is necessary, 1,000. You see, and uh, also taking time, you know, to, to uh, if it is possible to, to use even watercolor. Uh, why is important in the process of doing the, the to use uh, uh, color and to, uh, because indeed is probably the first, the first aesthetical experience that you can materialize. So by, by seeing the blue, by seeing the yellow, by uh, also by, by combining graphite and, and or even by, by, by putting just the plants in a certain layout, you see on a piece of paper, you started delivering a, a clearly very precise messages. You can count how many corners the building will have. You see also there is a circle, there is a core, there is a certain process of, of a certain dynamic included in the shape we try to do. There is even some sketches still already saying here will be the elevator, can be that the corridor for entering into the core, the core will have a certain signal. So there is a lot of technical information, but still there is also a, a, an orange color around. Why, uh, what you are saying it is to everybody, you know, first of all, you know, there is an emotion that it has to be cut all the way. Now, it seems to be a little bit strange that I tell you, but I learned it, or I see it, and I constatate it by hearing about the way how other people work. Not necessarily architects, many architects have done that, but uh, uh, you see, imagine, for example, I, uh, I met somebody, met Federico Fellini, who used to do very beautiful and detailed drawings, a lot of drawings. And then somebody asked ask him, why you do so many drawings? And I said, because I want that the people feel, you know, feel the, the, the moment and feel what I want to, to, to communicate to them. So he may, maybe do for one shot, one drawing. It is an enormous amount of drawing for a film. The same thing later on also I hear about Akira Kurosawa, the, the Japanese regisseur, that if you take movies like Ram, you don't need to follow the argument. It's just an aesthetical experience of images, of colors, of combination. Also, he has been a very, a, a, a very sensitive and also very um, intent. I mean, he has been drawing a lot of things. And indeed, the movie Dream, you must maybe know, he represents himself as a painter meeting Fajo. So just to tell you that. It's very important when you work in a team, and this is finally what an architect is. An architect is the chief of a very uh, large team uh, uh, that you transmit to the people working with you. What we are doing is not only a technical team. What we are doing is uh, both young. What we are doing is it has to be uh, uh, finally sublimated in, uh, if it is possible, in, in a, an aesthetical uh, uh, achievement. And uh, that is at the one side. Then you can see uh, in, in the sketches, as I say, you know, in the, the uh, uh, let's say, in the, its primitivity, you know, they show you, they, they speak to you about shapes, about natural shapes, the trees, you see here also snakes, uh, uh, shapes, you know, natural shapes. Uh, you see also, uh, um, even, first, you see, that is, it is interesting, it is some of the drawings are sometimes drawn like that, and I turn the, because it's not very formal, you know, my procedure, but you see even the other more person delivering to the scale, which it is, in my opinion, also finally, the most important part of the drawing probably will be that thing. Because, uh, 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 you see, uh, I mean, when you work as, uh, uh, imagine, for example, the work of a sculptor, 
you see you are free of uh, uh, many boundaries. You are just uh, limited by the material, uh, 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 material uh, physical laws of the material you are working, but you can work with an enormous abstraction. As an architect, you can do that. As an architect, you have to uh, uh, fit into the, uh, into the everyday needs of a person. Your building has to become functional. You have to do toilets, you have to do water, uh, you see, the places to wash, to eat, to live, to sleep. Those things, you could perceive that as a limitation, but where the architecture is the biggest part, where no art is uh, uh, like architecture, is related to the human scale. Because the human scale and the human person delivers life into architecture. And it is so big that, in my opinion, all the bigger sculptures of the 20th century has been, has been, has been very much confronted to these kind of things. And this city, uh, 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 let's say, bring that very clear you know, to life. When you see the works of Alexander Calder or the work of Picasso, you could almost think they wanted to do this. You can penetrate them. You can go uh, uh, under the arcs, the arcades of the building of, or, or let's say, of, of the Alexander Calder sculpture. Uh, in front of the city hall, or even the, the almost uh, Picasso uh, woman's head. 